Hey, this is going to be a great weekend to go check that out and then take a dip in the water as well. Yes, yeah, particularly as we get toward Monday, Eric, very mm -hmm. hot. Yeah, just awesome weather for the next couple of days. Perfect for them because today was kind of comfortable. You could craft your art under the cover of a little bit of cloud cover and then the late day sun. And now we've got a perfect weekend to enjoy. Summer warmth here for our Father's Day weekend. Downright Triple H weather on Monday. Hazy, hot and humid and some record heat looks very likely right now. And minimal rainfall. Our best chance will be late on Monday into early on Tuesday as our front moves through. Well, we've been seeing our temperatures rebound a little bit with our late day sunshine up to 70 in Norwood, 71 in Lawrence and Manchester, up to 75 in Keene, coolest across Cape Cod and the islands. One thing that will be notable for this upcoming weekend, the dew points are low. A lot of dry air across the northeast. It will stay in control for the entirety of this weekend. So although it gets hotter, it doesn't get any more muggy outside. So it'll be a very manageable heat on the way in. Great stuff. And there you see all that summer air that's really been amassing across the middle of the country. Chunks of that break breaking off and heading in our direction with the peak heat arriving on Monday. But for tonight, some patchy fog on the south coast, low 50s. Windows can be open, certainly no problem with that. And we'll watch another round of some coastal flooding, minor coastal flooding, the most susceptible spots because of the new moon that's out there right now. Between midnight and 4 a.m., coastal flood advisories are up again tonight and won't be quite as high as what we saw last night near the shoreline. Other than that, it is a stress-free, problem-free weekend in the weather department. High clouds and sunshine, mid 80s for tomorrow. A light westerly breeze will be out there. Saturday night, again, it's comfortable because the air is dry. We fall back into the 50s overnight, so the windows can stay wide open. And then on Sunday, we approach 90 for inland areas in the afternoon, so a hotter day at the coastline, probably the most popular destination out there. If you battle the traffic, it looks great near all of our area beaches. So tomorrow's highs mainly in the middle 80s, a little cooler toward the south coast and the Cape, but there won't be an aggressive sea breeze tomorrow, so not a huge difference. And for Arts Fest in Beverly, Looks like a nice day, sunny, warm, about 84 degrees for a high temperature there. For the beach, about low 80s. Again, a light westerly breeze expected, and our water temperatures are on the cool side, but they'll poke up a little bit or make their way up a little bit this weekend. We're talking about low 60s right now, and perhaps a few spots in the middle 60s, especially in the shallower water by the end of this weekend. For Zach Brown Band, it's excellent out there tonight. Looks perfect tomorrow night, summer evening, near 81 degrees for the start of the concert. And our high temps on Sunday, again, close to 90 for inland areas, and then a little bit of a sea breeze near the coastline, 70s to low 80s there, but all told, a great summer day for us. For the Cape and the Islands, everyone taking a trip over across the bridges tonight, looking at a great pair of days, well worth the traffic woes, I would say. And toward the Lakes region and the mountains, we're looking at temps that'll be in the 80s tomorrow, a chance of some late day thunderstorms on Sunday, especially heading towards Sunday night. So if you're camping or doing some hiking, keep a close eye on that end of the forecast. But for Monday, record heat is the call right now, forecasting 98 in Boston with an outside chance of hitting 100 degrees, which we haven't done since 2011. That's pretty rare air. And combined with the humidity, which will really be here for Monday, it's mostly a one-day thing, it'll feel like the low triple digits outside. So if you're working outside, if you're a school district, you're planning a field day, it's going to be a take-it-easy day, no question, trying to avoid some of the midday sun and Plenty of hydration needed on Monday. A front will come through on Monday nights, bring with it a chance for some scattered thunder, and then it's drier for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but summer warmth is here to stay. Liam and Lisa, back to you. It has settled in. All right, Eric, thank you.